In this video series on AWS and sending the, the logs and flows from AWS into Curator, you either have seen me or will see me doing things like creating an S3 bucket and having that bucket linked with an SQS notification, simple queue service, and have that provide notification to QReader by virtue of putting in, when we create the log source instance in QReader, all we need to do is put a URL. So how do we create these things together? So you'll see that the process, and you don't have to do it exactly in that order, but I think that the easiest way to explain that we are going to first create an SQS and we're going to be this is not going to be complete we will do the first iteration of it after we do that and again you could have, you could do this in the reverse order but we're going to create an S3 bucket and we're going to copy the ARN for that bucket and we're going to go back to that SQS we created before and we're going to edit it and in a JSON structure we're going to show you how you put that ARN in there so it's going to be linked to the bucket and finally we're going to go back to that S3 bucket and we're going to attach it to that SQS we created and configured before. Let's get into it. Let's start by type in SQS in here and we're going to create a simple queue service we go here and do create queue uh, I'm not taking all the defaults I'm going to give it a name I'm going to call it Jose test and then I'll show you how Max Lewis created all these and put together but uh, I think that the easiest way is to show it, it by me creating one and I'm going to put the default the, the visibility for one minute and the expiration I'm going to make that 14 days right we're not going to do anything else in here I scroll down we're going to get back to that JSON later and we click create queue and here is the actual URL that we will put when we create the log sourcing queue reader but we are not done yet let's actually create the bucket so we click we type here S3 and we're going to click here on the S3 bucket. We're going to click here create bucket. We're going to give it a name Jose test. Notice that uh, it's indicating that the bucket name has to be all lowercase and we're going to take all the defaults here. We click create bucket. Now that the bucket is created, we saw it. We see it here, and we can click on this radio button and click here, copy ARN. We type here SQS, and we go back to SQS. We're going to select the test, and we're going to click Edit. In order to do that association, and forgive me for covering the account number in here but uh, I'm trying to be a little paranoid around here but you need to go to the end of this line where it says resource put a comma and then paste the statement that you'll see below and your statement should look something like this notice that this is the ARN that we copy from the bucket and that's making the association between the two. Don't forget this comma, otherwise you'll get an error. We scroll down and click Save. All is left to do is to go back to the bucket and create the notification with the SQSQ. We double click on the bucket. We're going to click on the property tabs we're going to scroll down and we are going to where's the event notification here we're going to create an event notification by clicking here 
We're going to give it a name. And put a prefix. All these are optional. I'm going to select it for all events. And you can be more granular if you want to be, if you choose to do so. If you scroll down, you probably are guess right. You're going to select SQS. And what we can do, you, you don't have to put the ARN for the SQS, which you could get, but because we did this, at least we saved that extra step by selecting from here and selecting the SQS we did, and we click Save Changes. Now that we created the SQS, the bucket and the association between the two, we can, for example, show it how we will use it to create a BPC flow log. So let me click here on BPC. I click here on your BPCs. This is the one we created. Let me click on it. To create the flow log, we click on that tab, flow logs. This is the one that Max created, but you will click here on create flow log. You will give it a name. Notice that the name has to be lowercase. You specify what type of filter. Uh, I would say that one minute is more appropriate than 10 in the case of QReader. And you don't want this to send to CloudWatch, but send to an S3 bucket. And you'll specify the ARN that we saw before that associated with the bucket. And that is how you tied all these things uh, together. I almost forgot uh, in the case of uh, QReader, you specify AWS default format and create flow logs and voila.